the energy bill to to get this up and running. We appreciate your work. Uh, several people have referred to Harry Truman. Harry Truman started this dream of giving Americans coverage, but he did another thing that was pretty remarkable in the 40s. He reformed the way we did uh, military procurement and prevented a lot of what you might consider waste, and he saved taxpayer dollars. And I believe we've got a lot more work to do on this bill to, in fact, really uh, reduce the amount of overutilization that goes on that endangers the quality of health care that our constituents have and cost the taxpayers billions of dollars. When we started this effort in the early 90s, health care was 7% of the economy. Today it's 16%. It'll go to 40% by 2040. This will be a monster that will devour the United States economy if right now in this bill we do not succeed in adopting rational uh, health policies that are based on quality of care rather than just uh, churning services. Right now we have many perverse incentives. Let me suggest five or six things we hope to accomplish in this bill. Number one, we'll have peer review. So the physicians are subject to peer review of their work. And we seek in this bill to make sure that we move to accountable care organizations like the one my dad just benefited from after his surgery where he didn't have to go into any of our room because we had an accountable care organization that had processes so we could talk to the nurse at 3 o'clock in the morning. Number two, we ought to bundle our payments so that we pay based on the condition of patients rather than the service provided. We know there are enormous savings to be had in this regard. We ought to require moving in that direction, not with pilot studies, but in fact with binding commitments. Number three, we need bonuses for doctors that will in fact follow protocols. We have protocols on how to practice medicine. Physicians who agree to follow them ought to get a bonus in their Medicare and public option payments. Three, those outliers who are substantially way beyond accepted utilizer, utilization rates ought to have some method of giving them an incentive to come back into accepted rates of utilization. Number five, we ought to have a value-based system when we do cost structure of our benefits. We ought to base it on value patients get, not just on the cost associated with treatment. If we do those five things, we will fulfill our mandate, in fact, to bend the cost curve down. I'm not uh, very confident the cost curve is going down right now. It could be going in the opposite direction. So I look forward to working with everyone on this committee to finding a way that we will fulfill that commitment and uh, look forward to that success. Thank you.